good. All right, number six. There's, there, I mean, there's text there. There's not much to the photo. Uh, 20 time was uh, something I heard about from my friend and colleague David Willis from Palo Alto High School. 20 time is a, a Google idea and encouraged their employees to spend 20% of their time at work to work on a uh, passion project, something they care about and something that will help the company. Uh, it's been developed for education and so our, our 20 time is every Friday. So out of the five days a week they pick Friday and they get to work on something they care about. And with this project I can give them any ideas. I told them they're going to have to pick something. We did some pre-writing. I asked them things like well, if you had time to do anything mentally that you wanted to do, what, what are those things that you would want to do? Or if there's something physically that you want to learn how to do, what would it be if you had time to do it? We're going to have that opportunity in class. And so you get to choose. So they, they came up with their own ideas. I, I said, you can look up some ideas if you want, but I really want this to be about you. I sent emails home to the parents and asked them to, hey, kind of poke and prod and figure out what, what they care about and, and, and ask them what they're going to do their project about. So we were browsing through the internet on ideas on what to do, and we created Returning the Favor to um, inspire others to help us write letters, thank you letters, to our retired veterans. It's not just a simple favor. They risked their lives and they're away from their families to go fight a war over in another country so that we're not fighting it in our own backyard. Our project is called For the Good Period. The point of the project is to provide poor needy girls, especially in Africa such as Kenya, with sanitary supplies that they can't have. Once girls reach menstruation age, mm -hmm. they don't have any products to help them so they can no longer go to school because that's very uncomfortable and embarrassing to them. So that stops their education. So once we give them these products, um, they're able to continue their education and do better for themselves. They can do better for their children and so on. That's a global initiative. They're, they're looking not just in our community and they're, ge they're getting resources from different states. I mean, there's people sending in money from different states, so that's a, that's a pretty big deal. And our goal was to get this known locally, so we've been doing things like bake sales. In our last bake sale, we got $250. And our goal, our current goal is to reach 750 When I was in high school, I would have never thought of doing something like that. And reaching out to adults, I think that's another big thing, is that they have to learn how to communicate with adults and professionals. And they're getting to learn to do that now, and they need practice. A big step was going to the school board with this. They were, they were really nervous about that. I mean, when we came back from spring break, it was like, all right, you're back now. You come to the school board, school board meeting tonight and present because this is part of the project. I found that this project has made me more grateful for what I have, and it's made me want to get involved in the community more because I'm helping others. So it just makes me grateful and want to help more. Anything you can set your mind to, you can do if you practice it. It takes experience. There are no gifts. You're not born naturally with gifts. If there's something you want to know how to do, you have to practice it. So I think if the kid's practicing speaking to adults, speaking to professionals, speaking, doing public speaking is going to help them get that practice now, so it'll be a little more comfortable with it and get a head start on it.